Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are watching an edit about Daisy Johnson. This one is called Destroyer of Worlds. This is also a video by Margarita Life, so I know it's going to be good. I'm hyped to jump right into it. As you guys already know at this point, I haven't watched all of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but I pretty much know majority of the plot at this point, and it's been a while since I've watched an edit from this show, so I am excited to jump into it. Without further ado, let's begin. What is your name? Sky. What's your real name? It's actually Daisy. Oh, that's War talking to her? One of them okay. quick. So there she is. The destroyer of worlds. Ooh, that was a nice transition. I guess I used to being alone. No family. A house? You did it? It's everything I have on me. I'm 25 and I have never spent. Let me reduce the volume just a little bit more. More than two years. That's a little anywhere. better. Shield was the closest I ever came to having a family. Mm hmm. We're our family. With Colson. First person to do Colson's that. her real dad. You earned this. Confirmed. This is big for me. Shields my life now. It's the only home I've ever known. I've learned things mm -hmm. about you, Scott. You know, every family has its secrets. Yours does too. You might not like what you find. My entire life I've been searching for my parents. Honestly? You know what would be cool? I feel like they should try, at the very least, to bring in some of this stuff to the MCU right and the reason i say that is just because i think a lot of the fans would appreciate it but also like you don't have to say that every single thing is canon right i would suggest perhaps um try to have some type of cutoff right where maybe you branch it where they are they're taking to the future right because when things went to the future that was when they had the real big change right the only question would be how to handle shield within the mcu now because well for the rest of the world shield hasn't existed in a long time so that would be the one question that i would say right because i think in season three shield comes back within the agents of shield universe right with a new director and everything whereas within the mcu i don't think it's really existed in many many years so that would be the main thing that they'd have to address that being said at the very very bare minimum i think they could bring back colson and bring back a couple of the main characters that wanted to continue on with the show or with the with the future of the mcu probably as a variant of some kind but i think it would be really really cool to see something like that kind of in a similar vein to how we have daredevil and how we have kingpin coming into the mcu and we still don't really know how their shows are going to play into the canon there but that being said i think that the thought itself is what counts there right the idea that marvel is actually putting some effort into bringing these characters that we want in there actually into the fold that being said let's keep going ended with answers that are so much worse than i could have agent imagined. l avery the time village had died I'm trying to protect this one he's a monster <laughs> that he is everything he did your dad is in fact a monster, yeah. I loved you. I will always love you, Daisy. My mother is you. They weren't what I imagined. Mm -hmm. they were. I actually don't recall. Does the dad end up losing his powers? Because it doesn't he have like in enhanced strength of some kind? Are they able to reverse the effects of that stuff? Also, I think it would have been fine in terms of her father remembering that he was her father like just have that be a part of his memory still and then daisy could have had like a real relationship with her dad sure it might not be like the real real him but it would have been essentially him without the trauma of losing his wife right and i think that would have been interesting specifically moving forward regardless of whether or not they chose to continue on with that but it would have been cool to see him actually reoccur as a cast member or like show up again sometime down the line i just think that it would have been interesting Gift. This is your destiny. After you change, no one yep. else will understand. And how we find you? Basically Ooh. unharmed in the collapse. Yeah. With destruction. All around, All you. around you. You survived the destruction. Because, because you caused it. You caused it. Wherever she goes. Yep. Death follows. Oof, trips death. That's sad. This guy goes. Death follows. Honestly, Trip was such a great character, and I think that's why they chose to kill him off, right? The emotional impact there. But still, it's like, why? 
why would you do that? Come on. His his family member was a howling commando for God's sake. Like they could have done so much with him. I don't know. They could have done something in the mainline MCU in which they crossed over there. Uh, again, I know that there were way too many problems because the MCU mainline stuff was being handled by completely different people than all the shows and stuff. But I feel like there could have been a way to like route in some of these things and just have some loose ties together. And I think Triple it could have been one of those things where it's like Steve Rogers knocks on a door one day and you just have him have a conversation with Trip, right? Talking about his grandfather. I think it's his grandfather, right? That was a Helen Commando. It would have been really, really cool to see that as an aspect within the actual MCU, having it just be like an underlying element. Even if it was just like a short that people could see or like something like that, it would have been really, really cool. Exactly. The truth. But you're different now. You have abilities. Mm -hmm. Abilities triggered by pain. And either you face that or you don't see Is that one of the members of the new shield? It's intense. <sighs> oh right. Like her feelings. feedback from her powers. Of me, and I feel it all the time. Why would you want to stop it? Because I destroy everything around me. I was sure I could save you. I just can't believe he's not coming back. He was trying to save me. Dang, I'm so he sad that Trip died. Me. And my life. The amount of regret and like guilt she probably stage. felt insane. Flash died trying to save me. You have no idea what I did. I have nothing left. And every time I wake up, oh, that's when she leaves. I remember all over again. After oh, I'm blanking on the actor. What's it? What was his name? The electricity dude, the guy that like trains her or whatever when she first gets um to the city of the inhumans or whatever i am blanking on his name but they i know they end up together and he ends up sacrificing himself in some way although the specifics of how that stuff went down i don't recall i remember being a little confused as i suppose a lot of people probably were with the time gap of like the new version of shield where colson's no longer the head and everything but yeah, I, it was sad to see that Daisy had kind of gone off her, on her own and just like given everyone the slip at that point. It's trying to distance yourself from everyone else so they don't drown in your wake. I keep my distance because that's what's best. I'm doing what I need to do. I do know bad things come from bad people. And you think I'm one of them? Imagine what will happen if your powers grow. I should wake up every morning and feel like this. Daisy Johnson. Remembering every drop of blood I spill. You say you're not dangerous. You could bring down Bill Hooks, tear continents Oof. apart. You want to know what kind of force can tear apart? Her powers are so cool. It was you. It's already been quaked apart. So this is quick. Her powers are really, really cool. Story or I never carry a weapon. I do wonder, like, since I didn't watch that entire season, the season where they go to space or whatever, like, when she ends up in a gladiatorial ring, because that's what, it, I've seen a few edits like this, I assume that's what's happening, like, do they limit the output of her abilities so she can't escape at that point? Is that how they control the Inhumans there? Because I feel like otherwise, that would be a problem, right? If she is capable of just destroying everything, like, it would cause an uprising real quick. And, yeah, I was just curious about that. You are the Let weapon. me know if you know. Powerful enough to bring this whole damn place down. I'm shooting Eva Ava out of the building. I the world once. I am not gonna let you do it again. Okay, Zeke. She's the destroyer of worlds. Don't ever call me that again. <sighs> it's up to that individual to make a choice. Mm -hmm. Either let the darkness fester and grow, or let the light inside shine through. Is that Mac talking there? And vanquish the darkness. I think so. That's a good line there. All right, so that was a video about Daisy Johnson. It was definitely enjoyable. I liked the background music throughout. I liked the narrative that was shown here where you get to see Daisy starting out talking about how S.H.I.E.L.D. is her home and then her getting her abilities and all of the things that ensued after that, meeting Lincoln. That's his name, Lincoln. I now recall that. Um, it took me a minute, but I figured it out. And then all the stuff with like her being the destroyer of worlds and after like leaving S.H.I.E.L.D. and stuff like that. 
it was interesting. I liked the video overall. That is all I really have to say for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please like the video and subscribe for more videos for me on this channel. Also, definitely check out the original video if you haven't already. That being said, that is all I have to say. So I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.